Gemini, thanks for tuning in to your July 2014 horoscope. My name is Athen, and I'm going to do this a little differently today. I'm going to split up this horoscope into four parts. First, I'm going to talk about yourself this month, then your work, then your relationships, and then spirituality. So let's start with the self this month. I'm going to talk about the first, fifth, and ninth houses, okay? So that, those are all the houses associated with the self, uh, yourself, your self-expression, and your higher self or higher guidance, the fire houses. So let's start with the first house, your first house ruler. Mercury is going direct on the first, so last month was certainly about self-reflection in regards to particularly how you uh, initiate projects, how you do things, uh, your motivation, your energy, um, your goals your ambitions, all these sorts of things, uh, taking a time out reflection was the situation last month and this month Mercury will be going direct in that first house so putting a lot of those uh, ideas perhaps that um, you gained or that resting that you did will then spawn a an initiation, the, the ball starting to roll and get moving this month in that first house. So. Up until the 28th for pretty much the whole month, it is very much about setting those goals, setting those ambitions, getting the courage to start uh, picking yourself up and moving and really setting things forward, setting your new plans and goals forward. Now on the 28th, Mercury will go into your second house. So at this point, it will be very much more to do with enjoying yourself. So if you put in the work this month, at the end of the month, the next month, there will be some fruits that will come of it and definitely maybe a time to take a vacation or a time out again, but in this sense, to enjoy yourself, to enjoy what you've achieved this month. Now, let's talk about your self-expression this month. Venus, your fifth house ruler, is in the twelfth house up until the thirteenth. So this will have to do with letting go of your self-expression. You probably noticed this last month, uh, towards the end of last month as well, having to just release your self-expression and just let it be, okay? And perhaps take a, take a break from it, step into the void, that 12th house. Continue to do that, you might gain some good spiritual insight, but for the most part, you'll find that your self-expression is actually coming out when you just ease off the gas pedal a little bit. Then on the 13th, Venus will go into your first house. So at that point, all of this stuff you're initiating, well, your, your, your self-expression will then follow, okay? And for the 13th onward, it'll be about expressing these new goals and ambitions and stuff that you're working on this month, okay? Now, in regards to your higher self, your higher guidance, Saturn rules that ninth house of yours. So it will be about, um, your, it'll be about expressing your higher self, your higher guidance, your spirituality, or your philosophy, or your wisdom. Sharing your wisdom with everyone, I think, would be a good way to sum up this energy. Now, we're talking about Saturn. Saturn has been retrograde and will be up until the 20th, at which time he will go direct. So continue this month up until the 20th to reflect on that wisdom that you are expressing and that you are a part of. And um, then on the 20th, there will be that pause with that station direct and then onward from there um, again expressing your wisdom sharing teaching helping people understand about um, the higher aspects of life all right so let's talk about your work this month we're going to talk about your second house of resources your sixth house of routine and work and your tenth house of service and contribution so let's start with uh, your resources this also includes some finances too on a physical level the moon rules your second house. So let's see what the moon is doing. Well, we have a full moon on the 12th happening in your seventh house. So balancing your resources will be key, particularly the first half of this month. Okay. Balancing what's important to you, what's important to others. Um, not necessarily shared resources, but the values that are important to you in relationships in particular. And through that, I think you'll gain a lot of uh, value through others. So a kind of example of this might be, you know, understanding the true value of life, like what's life really about? 
it's not you know just about resources and money and the physical aspects. It's also about the relationships that we build, and also the more more importantly to you know to that is the relationship we have with ourselves. Because without a relationship with ourselves, there is no relationship with anyone else. So. Becoming aware of your values in regards to your relationships will be key first half of the month. Second half, we have a new moon in the second house for you. So I think by doing that, there will be some new beginnings in regards to your resources, I think, this month. Okay? Um, again, not necessarily on a physical level, but certainly in your values. You will certainly have some new values that you're aware of this month, and it's about enjoying it. So whatever new comes to you around the 26th of this month, um, take enjoy it. Take it. Be grateful for it. Send your gratitude out there. And then in this way, you kind of set the stage for more abundance to come to you for the following, particularly for the following uh, 15 days until the next full moon. All right, let's talk about your skills and your routine this month. Mars, the ruler of your sixth house, will be in your fourth house. So feeling into your routine, whatever you're doing on a day-to-day -day level, your skills, your work, tap into your feelings, transmute, tra transfer your feelings into your work, okay? This really is the key for you. You'll find that very motivating too, and freeing you up. Then on the 13th, Mars will go into your fifth house. So at that point, it'll be really about um, expressing your skills, letting people know um, what you contribute, what your skills are, what you're good at. And then through there, I think you'll develop even more and again, gain some more energy to pull you and move you forward as we're talking about Mars. Now, let's talk about your contribution and your service and your career. Not necessarily career, but what you have to contribute to society. Jupiter rules your 10th house. He's in that second house of enjoyment, okay, of resources. So Jupiter in the second, enjoy your work. Okay, that's really emphasized. Like I said, connect to those feelings, but at the same time, you know, bring more time out into your life, but, you know, into your work as well. You know, uh, bring in perhaps like flowers or bring in nature or anything that gives your, um, your, your, your career, a, what you do for a living, a little bit more of a boost in enjoyment, okay? But it's also about expressing how much you enjoy your contribution because you certainly will be enjoying your career or your service this month, I think, or there's definitely a potential for that, especially with Jupiter, in that second. So enjoy it and then express this enjoyment, particularly the second half, like I said, about expressing yourself. So first month really feeling, second month really expressing, but overall just enjoying um, this month in regards to your work. All right, so let's talk about relationships. Let's talk about third house communications, seventh house relationships, and eleventh house groups and collective sort of things the collective. So let's talk about uh, communication. The sun rules your third house. The sun will be in your first house up until the 16th. So these initiations, a lot of the stuff that you're starting this month, okay, it's, there's a lot of room for communication. The more you communicate, the more you express yourself, you're going to find an awareness coming to you and more motivation coming to you as well to get a lot of these things in action okay so start communicating more if you can and um, have the courage perhaps there's a situation where maybe you don't have the courage and you'd like to communicate more um, tap into that and just remember presence while you do this and balance now on the 16th onward the sun will then go into your second house so again enjoying in this case your communications okay Share with others, and through that, you'll find a great sense of enjoyment, okay, and energy as well, and it'll certainly boost your relationships. <clears throat> so, being proactive and enjoying yourself. Now, in regards to relationships, your seventh house, um, Jupiter is in your second. So, again, the emphasis is really on expanding and having fun. This is the month to have fun with those close to you. Even have fun with your friends, your family, everybody. 
and um, through that you'll find perhaps new relationships developing, existing ones um, developing as well. Now let's talk about um, your groups and collective issues, your 11th house. Um, Mars rules your 11th. Mars will be in your fourth house this month. So feeling into it, uh, anything you do, if you're going hanging out with a group, with your friends or whatever, your family, express your feelings. Express your inner self, particularly up until the 13th. From the 13th onward, again, express. The, the, the Mars will then go into your fifth house. So really say what's on your mind, but do so compassionately, of course. But the more you share with yourself, your inner self and outer self, the uh, stronger your bonds will be, particularly in those groups. All right, so let's talk about your spirituality this month. Uh, we'll start with your fourth house, which rules your inner self, your eighth house of releasing attachments, and your twelfth house of the void, stepping into the void, presence, and universal love. So Mercury rules your, fir your fourth house, and like I said, he's going direct in your first. So this month, while you're starting and initiating all these projects, hopefully, you will also gain a much stronger awareness of your inner self and expressing that inner self. So tap into those feelings, like I said, and then through that, there will be a tremendous amount of, uh, of um, motivation for you, okay, and awareness as well. Now, on the 28th, Mercury will go into your second. So like I said, um, last few days, while you are um, enjoying yourself, you'll also find you really being able to tap into your inner self, your inner guidance. Now, let's talk about uh, your eighth house of releasing attachments. Saturn is in your fifth house. Saturn rules your eighth. So expressing your 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 um, how do you say, um, your independence, because the eighth house, believe it or not, really is about letting go of the shackles that bind us, letting go of the old conditioned modes of thinking, okay, and this is all centered around your self-expression, okay, so, and of course, do this in an organized sort of way, we're talking about Saturn, so be disciplined in this approach, not reckless, but expressing yourself um, up until the 20th, there will be a reflection in expressing yourself, and then through that, you will learn how you how that's helping you become more independent to release all those things that are binding you. Then from the 20th onward, when Saturn goes direct, it'll be about getting that ball really moving and noticing that the more you express what you're really about, sharing yourself with the world, the less these old conditioned uh, responses and feelings and cycles, these old cycles are being left behind, believe it or not. So express yourself, uh, reflect on it up until the 20th, 20th onward, start putting it into action. Now let's talk about uh, the 12th house, your ruler is Venus for that 12th house. So Venus, like I said, will be in your 12th. So First half up until the 13th, really do take the time out. While you're starting all these, you, you will hopefully be busy, but take the time out to meditate, perhaps do yoga, or anything actually um, athletically uh, spiritual, running, exercising, hiking, going out into nature, camping, these sorts of things. But as long as it's in a way where you, know, you, you, you are able to reflect, you are able to take a second out, and listen to your, your your inner self. That's the case for the first half. 13th onward, um, Venus will be going into your first house, so then taking the courage to put a lot of those um, spiritual reflections that came to you last month and in the first month of July into action, into spiritual action, being a spiritual warrior and communicating um, this new spiritual you that will be transforming into action this month, okay? So, very energetic month for you, Gemini. Lots of enjoyment emphasized as well, and tapping into your feelings, I think, will certainly help your work relationships in all areas of your life as well. All right, Gemini, so uh, please get in touch if you'd like a personal, in-depth reading. I'm uh, now offering readings for only $45 for at least this month and next month, so 
Um, do take advantage of that. And if you have any questions, please get in touch. All right, Gemini, have a great month. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.